Harvest Mass FN counter. Is it worth a buy? Absolutely it is. It's a fantastic tower defence game. But don't run away when I say tower defence because this is a tower defence game with a big difference. It's not like your normal tower defence games. Basically you get three planets and each planet is progressively harder. To unlock the second planet you have to get a high score on, on this planet. And so it's easy to do. It just requires a bit of grinding. But it's fun grinding. I'm just going to show you how the game actually plays. So we'll choose the easy planet. Basically you have... Five different ways to play this you've got normal mode where you basically make a base on the planet and the aliens just start coming in waves you have to build your defenses up and it never ends it goes on until you are annihilated you cannot win in this game you always die but what the object is is to get your highest score and it's so much fun doing it guys wave mode is it, it's a bit different you are allowed you are allowed to have as much time as you want before the first aliens come you decide when they attack. There are 10 waves going to come at you, and you decide which wave comes when. Insane mode is a bit like the first mode, normal mode, only it's much harder. Um, it is a lot harder. You start with more resources, but the aliens are more determined than ever, which basically means you're going to get your ass whipped quicker. Rush mode is even worse. Uh, that's even harder. You've got to deal only 50,000 points of damage as quickly as possible, but they come at you very quickly it's it's crazy it's hilarious though essentially you have a, a variety of structures to build not many but you have a few you've got a solar plant which is your power you have energy links which are imagine them as telegraph poles like in the real world where you pass power you know you have your cables you lay your cables to get from one building to another well you have to use energy links for example this one is a harvester now if i put that harvester there it's not built it's just a shell of a building to build it i have to get the power from there to there so what you do you build links like that. and there's the power going there it's been built now it's done now it's harvested and getting me money you can see at the top i've got 36 credits there you go 37 credits i'm double clicking on a building to give it priority over power so all power made will go straight into that power to get the power unit up any second now there it goes. Now I can build a gun. Now it's coming from up there, so I want the gun about there. Don't have enough money. I have enough money now. I'm going to put that on the priority build as well. I want that gun up and running quick. There we go. I'm now safe from that. So I can get on with what I was doing. He's wave two coming. There's another one. Now you get artillery, which you can put down. I'll build an artillery to let you see the artillery in action. Now artillery is upgradable. You can upgrade this to an Eagle Cruiser turret or a Tempest turret. Now, Eagle turrets are a bit like cruise missiles. They just they are guided. They are insanely good. Another good thing uh, that you can do in this game is you can link turrets just by clicking on them and then drawing a line. Now, what happens is now that turret there is more powerful than it was before. Now, if I add another one into that mix, I'll put another two turrets down and I'm going to link them all. I'm going to link them all to that. That turret now has a much air bigger area. See, a normal turret only has this much area, whereas this one, it expands. It's also a lot more powerful than it was before. This is essential for later on in the game. So this is the basics, guys. Now I'm going to show you what happens later on in the game. As you can see, I've got a linked turret going there. I've got artillery tempests all around the edge, and I've got eagle guided missiles in the middle. Loads of power. But I've run out of resources here and I'm having to expand my borders to, to get resources from here. And these are pretty much smash and grab raids. There's a new fresh wave arriving from the bottom here, which will hit me defences shortly up there. And I've got this big wave here and another big wave here. This is why it's called Harvest Massive Encounter, because these encounters are huge and they get bigger. They get a lot bigger than this. This is, it's, it's insane. I'll show you creative mode. It's just emulating wave mode. I'm up to wave 56, but these are not posing any problems. If you want to experiment, you can spawn your own units. So let's have a curly whirly attack of UFOs at the bottom there. There they go. Yeah. Now let's. Worth. Ah. Uh, Buy. The worth of buys are coming. Oh. Oh. We need to fuego. 
Oh, they're gonna get in. They're gonna get in. Let's help the aliens on. Let's let's make some ball crushers. A line of ball crushers. Look at that. Look at this, guys. That's the beauty of linking them. Look at the range of that laser. Look at the power of it. It's like the bloody Death Star. Wow. Awesome. Ah, oh, this game is so bloody good. Watch this. Ball crushers. Here they go. Here they go. Will they make it to the laser? Oh, here's the artillery to save the day. Look at that. They're the Tempests. Oh, annihilation. Annihilation. I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'll beat me, base. Uh, these drop shuttles. These drop shuttles. These are bastards. You cannot. You cannot withstand these. You cannot withstand these. Mac, stop. That's enough. Mac. Mac. What are you doing, Mac? No! Mac! All that work! Mac! You base! What are you doing? You traitor! You traitor! How many, Mac? How many, Mac? Thousands, millions, billions! Mac, you've gone insane. You are power hungry. Look at them! Look at them! They're like ants! They're in the base! They're annihilating the base! Oh my goodness! They're into the innards! The base! The base! That's the bog! They've assimilated my base. No. It's just lights out. Look at this. Look at them. Look at this. They've eaten it. My base. Six hours to build. Ten seconds to destroy.